guys, it's Sarah from Alcone Bass Lady. So today we're gonna talk about Waves, Waves Client and their recent release. So we're gonna talk about what exactly happened, what are they, and the unfortunate event that was recently announced. So you could say this is quite an old news from July 24th, as we can see on their Twitter. I highly recommend reading the Twitter and following the projects you're invested in. So the long way to major release of the wallet of the Waves client is finally here. You just forget about complicated blockchain tools since the client lets you store, send, exchange, and issue tokens easily, swiftly, and securely. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So after 53 beta releases and through testing from the Waves development team, Waves client has finally launched and promises exceptional functionality and security. So Waves is actually already well known for featuring an intuitive user interface and not requiring users to sync the blockchain when using a local wallet. It also boasts robust security with client-side signatures and outstanding decentralized exchange, high levels of liquidity, and an extremely fast platform. Waves client also makes it easy to create original tokens quickly and inexpensively, while supporting massive airdrops without clogging the blockchain with pending transactions. And on top of that, getaways with the client allow users to deposit popular crypto and fiat currencies, so like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Dash, Litecoin, with dollar, euro, and basically receive tokens for these that cannot be held or traded on DX. Tokens may also be cashed out for crypto or fiat to external wallets or bank accounts via the same getaways. And finally, Waves and its smart contracts will allow for the control of accounts via features such as multi-signature, balance freezing, and a couple more. And on top of that, the Turing Complete contracts will be launched later this year. So with all of this already established, Waves has finally released the full version of its client, and the decentralized exchange sees the greatest update. So while the latest version of the software is highly stable, effective, usable, functional, it is the newly designed decentralized exchange that has seen the biggest change. The new Waves DX now has a completely redesigned interface with addition of new APIs and improved stability. And that's all thanks to a data infrastructure that has been custom built by the Waves development team. All that thanks to a data infrastructure that has been custom built by the Waves development team. And the addition of Night Mode and an Asset Manager is also a nice touch to the face of the platform. The new version of Waves DX put it into greater competition with other top cryptocurrency exchanges, especially considering its high liquidity and low fees as well as increased levels of sophistication and functionality, as you can see. The company now expects to see more traders joining the platform, with the Waves team next plans on integrating the Waves client with various hardware wallets, implementing the two-factor authentication, and releasing smart accounts on its mainnet. And on top of that, founder and CEO of Waves, Alexander Ivanov, for those of you who don't know, stated that this is the best client for crypto to date, insolency for yourself. So speaking about ourselves, what do you guys actually think about Waves launching out of the beta? Have you guys even heard of it? Do you think it's a good investment? Or is it just one of the many cryptos that could possibly be overvalued? So let's have a look on CoinMarketCap. So the currently at the time of the video, the market cap is at 296 billion with Bitcoin hovering around 8,200. Waves is just a bit further down the list. On position 49 by the market cap with a total market cap of 264 million, currently trading at $2.65 and is down 0.71% in the 24 hours, almost at 71%. So comparing to its all-time high, which was around, which was by the end of December, exactly December 19th, with a price of $17 per crypto asset, uh, the waves did take quite a downtrend during the bear market that we're currently having for way too long that I think it has been. You can obviously get it from Waves, the decentralized exchange, unless if you're not interested in signing up for any more exchanges, you can get it from Binance, Yobit, Appbit, Bittrex, and like I said earlier, you can get it with Bitcoin, Ethereum, or you can even get it with some fiat. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those videos. Uh, if you yet to follow me on Twitter, then feel free, it's Alcoin Sarah. Remember to also follow us, Alcoin Bus Ladies 
on Twitter, where we obviously post what videos have been made. And obviously I post different stuff, like are you a crypto addict, some sort of a comparison. But the main reason why we made this video, why Waves came onto my radar recently, was the news. Well, Waves Decentralized Exchange had a 6 million debut. Then it got hacked. So I'm gonna quote this article because it'll be probably the best way to explain what exactly happened. So on Tuesday, when Waves officially ended the year and a half long beta period and launched the full DX, hackers hijacked both the exchange website and the company's main site to fish for users' personal world information. It took hours for Waves to get its site back online after restoring access to the DNS server. Someone just faked my passport and gave it to support staff at the domain company and they changed the password at his request. Then the attacker was able to change the main website, as Wave CEO Sasha Ivanov told Coindesk. Undaunted by the incident or by criticism of Wave security practices, Ivanov told Coindesk he hopes that even banks will also start launching currencies on his DX. On top of that, he said, We're looking for partnership with major banks because we hope major banks will want to issue their own fiat tokens. So it seems like they're being quite positive about the whole hack and they're not really too bothered. They did mention it on the Twitter, however, seeing as it all has been resolved and hopefully not funds been lost, we can say it's sort of happy days. So guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment with what you'd like me to review next, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.